the makeup I wore. On top of this, there was no way I could hide the fact that I was not like the other kids at school. I was embarrassed and I would often ask myself why I needed to be so different. So I went about my high school life struggling. Channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and the girl Fanny Lungo and we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction but before we get into the reaction guys we want to thank everybody out there who will be subscribing to our channel. You're the realest MVP. All we want we just want to get to 10,000 subscribers and we're gonna be really really happy man. And um, yeah I know we're gonna get there in two days. Trust me guys we're gonna do it. And uh, the most important thing too we want to thank everybody who's been uh, you know clicking that notification button. Uh, just for you to be the first person to watch our videos whenever we post them, you're the realest MVP. So right about now, we're gonna do another reaction. And this one was suggested by a lot of people, and uh, they, they they actually said like we should go react to uh, my hijab. Inspir uh, inspiration, true ins story. inspirational true story. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. I always knew that this was going to be a step that I would take. At first I was a little hesitant because I knew things were going to change but then I decided it was the right decision to make. So on the 1st of January 2004 my journey began and I finally decided to put on the hijab. Every girl who puts on the hijab is faced with some sort of obstacle. For some it's their families not wanting them to wear it. Others have self-esteem issues with it. Others face doubts about it. The challenge I face was one that many others have also faced. Starting and going to a high school with hardly any Muslims and where you're the first Muslim people have met was no easy task. As teenagers, fitting in is the most fundamental thing in high school. Having no friends in high school is something every teenager tries to avoid. So I tried to be like them. Whatever the latest trend was, I went along with it. Not just that, but I needed to keep up with the latest beauty standards. Looking in the mirror for me was an exercise to try and pinpoint all the things wrong with me and that I needed to change. My self-esteem became dependent on the makeup I wore. On top of this, there was no way I could hide the fact that I was not like the other kids at school. I was embarrassed and I would often ask myself why I needed to be so different. So I went about my high school life struggling with my identity, trying to answer the question of who I was really. The truth is, I felt extremely lonely. Looking back, the reasoning why I was so embarrassed of who I was was because I had yet not fully understood the hijab. I thought the hijab was purely about modesty. I thought the hijab was there just to protect women from the gaze of men. But unfortunately, that was a very shallow and two-dimensional understanding of the hijab. It was not until I got to uni and started to take learning about my religion seriously that something happened. I fell in love. I fell in love with the hijab because I came to understand that it was not simply a piece of fabric draped over my body to conceal beauty and preserve modesty. It was a physical manifestation of my submission and connection with my Lord, an external representation of my inward spirituality. When I learned the rationale for the hijab presented in the Quran, I was blown away. Not only did it shatter my shallow understanding of the hijab, it proved to me God had validated my beauty. Therefore, I need to make the most of the opportunities and blessings I've been gifted with. Knowing this has actually pushed me to constantly improve myself and ensure my actions and character are in line with the teachings of Islam. But we need to understand that by wearing the hijab, I'm not declaring I am Islam. Rather, I am a Muslim. Meaning, I am someone who is trying to follow this religion, who accepts it as the truth, sees beauty in it, and hopes to beautify myself with it. Ultimately, no one is perfect. As humans, we're susceptible to making mistakes. The hijab doesn't make you a more perfect or righteous human being. Rather, it's a constant reminder to keep striving and excel in your personal and spiritual development. Remember, no matter how dark the world gets, be like that star that stands out and shines the way for others to see. <coughs> Do you 
pretty. All right. I mean, it's such a nice um, story. I mean, short and clean. Such a nice uh, poetry too. Amazing. She writes such kind of things, mainly. Okay. Yeah. About what? Uh, 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 writing. I should write. Yeah. Like she, she write about um, religion. My no, my my writing story. My 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 whatever story. I mean. Um, you know when when I first encounter someone wearing a hijab, I think I was in a, I think I was in a primary level or something, because I studied with a lot of Muslims. So I used to think they're hiding their, uh, their what? Probably they're hiding their hair, and also uh, um, it's part of their culture and whatnot. You get it? Uh, of which I came to understand it's okay, fine. It's part of their culture. But again, it's not all about like hiding the hair and stuff like that. Um, it's not about what is, uh, she just said. It's not about Islam. It's about uh, Muslim religion. It's about identifying herself as. A yeah, Muslim. yeah, yeah. Identifying herself as a Muslim. Uh, but I mean, it's uh, it's a, such a nice story because you can get more from this story. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's informative. Yeah, really informative. So I mean, by um, as I grew up, I actually realized there's there's more to that. There's more to wearing a hijab. I mean, it's not just a, a publicity stunt. But I know some people nowadays wear it for the like, wrong reasons. Just like she said, she thought it was what? Just um, to be modest. Yeah, to be modest to get it. But it's not all about that. But anyway, there are people who do it just for you know for other reasons which they know. Which are best known to them. Yeah, which is best known to them. But I mean, if you wear it for a good purpose, I mean, it actually um, makes it more what makes it more cute and more amazing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What I've do never think? really judged anyone that ever wore really one. Even when I was young, I just thought it was normal. I really, really thought but, it was but, but okay, do you judge? Nothing ever crossed my mind like, why is this person doing this? Are they trying to hide anything? Mm. Just thought it was normal. I still think it's normal. What do you think about the whole hijab situation? You think it's it's, it's a good uh, deed, or do you think it's just like ah? Uh, it's the culture, so it's a culture, yeah. If it's about culture, then it's fine. It's, it's fine. about religion. It's also fine. It all depends on what. You're doing it for so tomorrow if I stand up and wear one just for the sake of wearing one. Like for example, if I see you tomorrow wearing a hijab, to be like, ah, so uh, is, is this some type of fashion? Or maybe thing? it's trendy, you know? Yeah, probably. Because Kim Kardashian wore it, so I'm doing it as well. Although it's cute, it's very very cute. Yeah, it's cute. I like the way they tie it. I mean, it's so nice and they, oh, like they they wear that like the entire day. It doesn't even flinch. It doesn't even move. Just their type. No, <laughs> does it stay the entire day? No, they tie from time. They are just from time to time. But anyway, it looks amazing. Although, although when I was doing A levels, some girl actually said it's actually to hide your beauty. Yeah, the same thing when but I was when I was in the said, primary level, like just when I was saying, I thought maybe they are hiding their hair. So you know, I was really curious. You know, I was young and naive, so I wanted really to to find out what is it exactly they're hiding inside their hair. You know, that particular moment I was like, maybe there's something inside their hair they're hiding. Because I look at my other fellow um, friends or maybe uh, 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 what do you call it? young girls and stuff like that. They're, they're not wearing all those type of things, so especially Indians. So I was like, one day probably I'm gonna just touch that in job and find out. So I mean, no, you didn't do that, did you? I swear I did that. So I did that and then... <laughs> Is it bad disrespecting someone? Yeah, actually, yeah, I did that and then it was kind of, it was really bad because it's somehow like disrespecting somebody. But I was curious, I was young and, and curious. I really wanted to see what's in there. But anyway, guys, that's just a story for another day. And I hear once you start, like her story, she wasn't putting on one, mm -hmm. but she started to. Once you start putting on one, you can't, you cannot stop. Yeah, I don't know but how but that is. but I've seen some people who started it and then they stopped doing it. But you know something really funny. I find um, most most of the ladies who who come from, probably who go abroad 
and then they kind of stop doing it because they feel like no one is seeing me, no one is controlling me anymore. I feel it's kind of like that's another topic. Yeah, that's another topic that's for another day. But anyway, guys, ones, but stick to your truth. <laughs> anyway, um, if you feel like you react to this video in a better way, just give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down in our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about my hijab story. Just let us know what you it's feel. It's a very good short story. It's a very good short story. Just let us know. Straight to the point and very interesting. Straight to the point, informative. You can just learn a lot from it. I mean, if there's more like this, I know a lot of people out there have a different perspective about hijab, but just watch this. I want to know what it's about because this didn't go in detail. Yeah, it didn't go deeper anyway. Perspective, if, you, if you are a Muslim out there and you want to educate us about the hijab, just let us know in the comment section below. We'll be so happy to learn and actually know what's the purpose of the hijab. Is it for beauty? Is it cultural? Is it for other purposes and stuff? Just let us know. I mean, we are open to, to learn and stuff like that. And the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more keep on subscribing, the more give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. Last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video and peace out. <music>